think it was certain to work. I thought it was going to be. Oh, man, hard. Oh, he stared at Wesley Johnson, and then he hits a three. Wow. Before we see all that, let's see what people had to say when Chris Paul was traded to the Rockets. I'm not going to, Shannon Sharp, go all the way to disaster here, but I am going to stick by what I just told you. Houston will be a little worse with CP3 than it was last year without CP3. So no third seed? I, I don't think so. And all of a sudden, James Harden is about to become the NBA's unhappiest and most frustrated player. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. And boy, was Skip Bayless tripping. But what's new? Skip Bayless, that's all he does. Hot takes that are all BS. But for once, he wasn't the only one with this take. There was a lot of people saying that the Rockets won't be that good with Chris Paul. And boy, were they all wrong. Rockets went 65 and 17 in the regular season and were virtually unstoppable when Chris Paul, James Harden, and Clint Capella all played. So what was the big deal? Great regular season, many teams do that. As we know, my favorite team, the Toronto Raptors do that a lot. So it all came down to one thing. Do they even have a fighter's chance against the Golden State Warriors? The hot takes came again. Are the Rockets done? Done, done. But Fuck. honestly, they were done before the series started. If Houston doesn't get it done, the series is over. They're not going to win an Oracle. This Western Conference final everyone's talking about, like it's the 27 Yankees against the 96 Bulls, is going to be the biggest sports disappointment since Mayweather Pacquiao. It just won't last as long. Mm. Anybody who thinks the Rockets going to win a game or win this series is an idiot. You're declaring this a sweep. This is one game over, season. Ernie. So if you lose game one at home against this Warriors team, the team you've been talking, all this trash, the team all we do is obsess about the Warriors. If you lose game one after all that talk, this series George, is a wrap. let me ask you this. Oh, I tried to talk myself into last night the Rockets winning <laughs> a game in this series, just one game, and it would be this game, and I can't. I'm They're such frauds. They're the Raptors of the West. Who knows? Rockets and Warriors, the matchup we've all been waiting for. Rockets are going to get swept. They don't play defense. Mm-mm, they don't. I'm going to go so far as to say if they don't win game one, it's a wrap. Like I said, I picked the Warriors in five. Can they win a game? No. They're not going to win a game. Okay, I picked the Warriors in five. I want to say I'm taking the Warriors in three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Again, boy, weren't these analysts wrong? What was that BS they're talking about? Not having faith in a 65 win team just because of one game. I get it, you're losing on your home court, but give them a little more respect. Now, I know everybody says James Harden and Chris Paul are playoff chokers, but if you actually look, look at the history, you might be able to say something about James Harden, but if you look at Chris Paul's stats in the playoffs, Maybe he has one or two blunders in his career, but in his overall playoff career, he's been he's been pretty damn good. And in game two, they came out aggressive, and they had no thought of losing. And they didn't just win that game. They destroyed the Golden State Warriors in game two, going back to Oakland, tied at one. Okay, okay, I get it. Game three, the Rockets come out really weak. The Warriors come out strong, but honestly, we expected that. The defending champs playing at home right after they're getting destroyed. They're going to come back strong and they, they did what they had to do. They easily destroyed the Rockets who kind of gave up in the second half. But then we come to game four. The Rockets season on the line. James Harden not playing his best basketball in the second half. And what happens? Chris Paul steps up. This was the reason you brought him here. This was the one and only reason. When James Harden's not having his best night, or when James Harden needs to go to the bench, you can bring in another superstar, another top 10 player to take over. And that's what he did. He came in, he took over, he hit some big timely shots, 
and the Rockets showed heart offensively and defensively, beating the Golden State Warriors at home for the first time in 16 games. And what happened? Rockets go home tied 2-2. Yeah, yeah, the Rockets got game four in Golden State, but the Warriors are going to come out strong. Don't worry about it. That's what everybody said. But the Rockets weren't letting up. They weren't done yet. They're still hungry. They come out extremely strong against the Warriors in game five at home. And they they just they just hit them straight in the throat. They're, they're not going like that, they say. The Warriors do make a run as expected. They come back, tie the game late. It's a close game. Again, Chris Paul, great in the second half, going at a guy like David West, which, which was a complete mismatch. And the Rockets, at the end of the day, they get the win, go up 3-2. But that wasn't the biggest story. The biggest story is what happened towards the end of the game. Not Chris Paul's great play, but one play that Chris Paul was involved in. Well, they might have to drag him because you know he's not going to come off the court. But he is hurt right now, limping, walking gently and slowly to the sideline. Again, look at the play on the other half of the court. This is the most important play of the game because Golden State can take the lead with 40 seconds left. You know Chris Paul has to be agonizing in pain right now in order for him not to get back on defense. Now, win or lose, that one play changed the rest of the series. Then we come to game six where Chris Paul's out. Rockets surprisingly come out pretty good, but then in the second half, Ah, uh, let's just watch it. John Harden, and so Durant got the step on Capello and lost it, able to get it to Curry over the top it for three! Harden, now picked up by Curry on a switch. Harden, shovels underneath and turn it for Capello. And Curry comes away with it. Crossover. There it is. Went behind the back. Found Looney, back to Curry for three! Drive as Capella behind him. And it hits! Same play, same play off the opposite corner. Anderson jumps out on a switch. There is Curry leaning it home. Steph Curry. Okay, there's four minutes left in the game. We all know it's over. Steph Curry went off in the third quarter. Warriors went off in the third quarter. Rockets couldn't make a shot in the second half, and it's over. I'm, I'm mad that the Rockets did all that. I'm mad that James Harden wanted to play so good in the first quarter and then disappear for the rest of the game. But honestly, what what can we expect? James Harden is a great player. I, I don't want to say he's a choker because he played good this playoffs. But still, you had this team on the ropes. Even though we knew Golden State was going to make a run, you, you had a chance to do something. But regardless, whatever happens, happens. Golden State gets... I'm doing quotation marks here. Lucky again. He got lucky with Mike Conley getting injured, which they probably would have won that. But whatever, he got injured. They got lucky with Kyrie and Kevin Love getting injured. They got lucky with Kawhi Leonard getting injured last year in the Western Conference Finals. Now they get lucky with Chris Paul getting injured. And honestly, if you watch the Rockets this season, and if you watch the Rockets in this series, when James Harden went to the bench and Chris Paul was on the court, surprisingly, they played better. They played better as a team, I mean. Like, we just saw when Curry went off in the third quarter, and I'm thinking, in game in game five, this is exactly what Chris Paul did, but on the other side, for the Rockets. When they put David West, it was like it was like the mirror example. When Ryan Anderson is in the game for some stupid reason, Mike D'Antonio, I don't understand. Ryan Anderson's in the game, Curry's exposing it. When David West was in the game, Chris Paul was exposing it. And it's just sad that we're not going to see a full Rockets team go against a full Golden State Warriors team. This was the NBA Finals. And again, the Finals is is, is basically ruined because whatever, Golden State is going to win in four. Maybe LeBron gets a game, but it's whatever, man. NBA season ruined again because of you, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, thanks for ruining the NBA. Because I was thinking this earlier too. Imagine if it was the Warriors, the 73-9 and Warriors team. 
But then you had OKC with Durant and Westbrook. And then you had this Rockets team. How interesting, how entertaining would that be? But no, Kevin Durant, you want to just go to the best team. Thank you. Th- thank you. Just thank you, Kevin Durant. You- you're great. You're-, you're like the greatest player ever. Thank you, Kevin Durant. All right, whatever. That's going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe to my channel. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm out. Peace.